The family acceptance was interesting. For some reason, one brother who I felt was a high possibility to be my father did not come and visit me. He, he still, despite my sister's knowledge of the story, is a logical prime candidate. The eldest brother came to greet me. Was the case of the reunion to check up on his son? Question mark. Or was he too my real brother? Or my uncle? I will not go into any more family stuff, but there appeared to have strong resemblance of me in both the brothers, sisters, grandfather, nephew and nieces. I just knew that the only two people who I did not have the direct association with was my adopted sister Leah and my grandmother Bertha. To try and point the finger will only complicate things, so I had to ponder, reflect and analyse every possibility. So much secrecy and my lazy eye which I will come to later seem to hold the truth on this family mission. Each sister's pledge to me that they will be my sisters to love and to be there for me, to cherish their remaining lives as family. I feel so blessed and I count my lucky stars for how lucky I am. I instantly am interested while vowed to love and protect all my sisters as I have done with my adopted sister in Australia. This story has four possibilities. And some days I think all of these possibilities, which is not good for my mental health. Returning after 37 years is like finding the treasure to meet family as a stranger so disconnected from the past with so much confusion that the future are required. I had to tread lightly. I was meant to be with this family, but after my grandmother's passing, grandfather's passing, I had to go. But it is now through the reflection, I will not change one thing. My mental health took a bit of a hit this year. I had all of the ambitions to apply for the police force. By after finding my family, it made concentration very difficult. I developed a lot of anxieties and overthought every scenario. I had a lot of good and bad using fitness to calm my feelings. Life to me is taking each new experience and interprets its meaning with some experience. That I could not control that was going on in the past and how the family will come to accept me. I just put it down to one of life's great mysteries. As the trip went on, I continued to ponder my life, achievements and disappointments. However, I am so much grateful for what I have today. So I left home to Australia completely heartbroken in so many ways in Surabaya. I had this story and my story growing up playing out in my mind. What was true, false or cover up? I did leave the country feeling like a free man and returning to a country that I'm so proud to be a part of. I was struggling to cope how I was not informed to be a Chinese yet I had so much of my family members' features and behaviours. I began to feel like an alien again. I persisted to speak to many locals as journalists in Surabaya who were intrigued by my story to ask them if I displayed Chinese features. What lingered was the near possibility that everyone acknowledged these traits. But why had my family were so quick to shut it down? The agent who was responsible for my adoption said I should be proud to be both Chinese and Javanese. Two very proud people and also very influential in Indonesia. They are both influential in the future prosperity of the country and I could feel proud that I had the two inside of me. Here is now the reality that my family accepted me was quite interesting on so many different levels. Some wanted to be intimate, while others were cautious or unsure how to open their feelings to me because of this language barrier. I felt like a bear in the wild, closely sniffing their cub to see if I was one of their own. 
I actually came from here and in my mind today to find my way back. I still struggle to comprehend this. I felt the family were so curious to meet me as they never knew what happened to little yo yo the name they called me. One thing that confused me was that my grandmother adopted another child at the same time when I was in the house. To this baby Bertha was her mum, but for me Bertha wanted to be referred to as my grandmother. Why was the Miradui restaurant a family refuge for homeless babies? Highly possible, but one thing for sure was the sensitivity of the disclosure of my Chinese heritage, which they could not commit to agree to. I've left feeling that my grandfather loved me so much. On the grounds, was it because I was his son, or was it because I was his first grandchild? I was the apple of his eye, and he would play and nurture me for hours after work. This action remains the fire whenever I feel lonely or sad. I also understand that as I have returned to Australia, that my brothers wish nothing more to do with me. Yet my sisters want to maintain this love of being part of the family. This is too suspicious on where to start. One friend stated that their wives perhaps considered my return to be after family inheritance. Or was it the fact to them I was closer to their husbands that they never imagined would re reappear